Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, America's number one choice for premier collector cars for over 30 years. Today we have a Hankster certified vehicle to present to you, a 1996 Ford Bronco. Clean Carfax, um, the truck has been in North Carolina and Florida for the majority of its life, so let's check it out. Uh, first off, we have the original 5.0 liter motor. Uh, of course, the vehicle is equipped with uh, power brakes, power steering reservoirs buried down there somewhere, and AC, which does work and blow cold. Uh, red in color, uh, gray interior, we'll show you that here momentarily. Uh, driver quality paint on the vehicle, uh, up top here we have a really large hood, uh, no bubbling, blistering, cracking, uh, anything like that going on on the uh, hood of this vehicle. Uh, the Ford badge in the center of the grill looks to be in good shape. The grill itself is also painted red. Uh, that is also in good condition. No issues going on there. Uh, front bumper, is it chrome? No, it's red. So your uh, bumper, um, also red just like the uh, rest of the vehicle, kind of like a sport look going on. Headlight clarity is good too, both the uh, driver and passenger side front headlights. Uh, front fender, uh, really nice paint. You do have a little uh, brush touch there. But other than that, as far as the paint is concerned, um, on the front fender, uh, no blistering, uh, cracking, fading, anything like that. Uh, the wheels do have a little bit of uh, corrosion, a little bit on each one, so check that out as we move through the uh, presentation here. Jumping ahead to the front windshield, uh, driver's side looks to be good. I can't see all of the passenger side, so we'll check that out when we're over there. But uh, overall, uh, I don't see anything cracked or chipped here on the driver's side. The uh, driver's side door, um, no paint issues down low. We'll get a shot here, low on the fender, low on the door, and then low on the quarter. You do have a few uh, minor chips there on the uh, rear quarter. Uh, also a little brush touch there on the driver door. One there. One there. Uh, mirrors on the car or the vehicle are both in good shape. They're both brand new. We put those on there. Uh, the other ones were kind of faded, so we put new mirrors on there for you. Take a look inside the vehicle. Uh, let's start with the driver's door panel here. Uh, power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. We'll figure out on the test drive if those work. Uh, the door panel itself in uh, pretty decent shape for what it is. You know, it's the original door panel from 96. So, um, you know, not uh, broken in any capacity. Carpeting at the bottom is pretty good shape. Um, armrest is in pretty good condition. Uh, so let's... Uh, See if we can get a quick shot here of the back seat. Uh, just a simple gray back seat. Uh, the front seats uh, have seat covers on them. Uh, it's like a uh, dark gray and then a light gray material on both the uh, driver and passenger's front seat there. Uh, four wheel drive vehicle. Uh, it is the original steering wheel. You have a little bit of a swell there on the top of the wheel, but it's not too bad because it is the original wheel from 96. Uh, your dome light does illuminate when you open up the driver door. The uh, carpeting overall in pretty good condition. A little bit of discoloration, uh, but no heavy discoloration, nothing ripped, nothing torn. Let's check out the uh, rear glass here. That looks to be in pretty good shape. Uh, the rear quarter of the vehicle, um, there are a couple minor brush touches throughout, uh, but there is no uh, filler pop, uh, bondo bubbles, anything like that on the bottom of the quarter. Uh, the driver's door closes nicely to the front fender and to the rear quarter. Again, the wheel here, just a little bit. Check out the still photos here. You can see um, probably, again, the original wheels. A little bit of, uh, you know, corrosion there on the wheels that were typical. 
Uh, we will open up the rear gate for you. The window does work from the switch, but it does not work with the key. So it will not work with the key, but it does work from the uh, switch up there. And uh, later on in the presentation, I will show you uh, the rear here. You have uh, your rear window defrost. Uh, the rear bumper, like the front bumper, is chrome. Uh, <laughs> the rear bumper, like the front bumper, is not chrome. It's painted. Uh, and there's a couple uh, just miscellaneous chips right there out of the uh, rear bumper. Now I'm going to put the window down from the front here. Okay, so now the window's down. And I will show you the rear of the vehicle here. Uh, again, the carpeting, you know, not heavily discolored. Uh, it is original, so you do have a couple different shades of gray there, but uh, overall it's not terrible. Same thing with the uh, back of the tailgate, uh, a couple miscellaneous uh, scratches, chips. This is a driver quality unit. It is not a uh, complete restoration or anything like that. Uh, there is no maintenance history service records on the vehicle other than what is available in the Carfax, which uh, the Carfax is clean, uh, no accidents. Let's uh, get a shot here of your uh, rear quarter on the truck. You can see around the wheel well there's no uh, paint blisters or uh, paint cracks, anything like that. Glass clarity out of your uh, rear uh, glass here. They're slightly factory tinted, uh, looks good. Uh, the glass clarity is good. Uh, once again, you know, slight patina on each wheel. So check that out. Uh, before we open up the passenger door, let's look at a couple things. Vent window glass, nice. Uh, door glass, nice. And then your uh, paint at the bottom of the door there. Uh, pretty nice. No uh, blistering, bubbling, cracking, anything like that. A uh, couple of miscellaneous chips right there. Like, uh, take a look at the uh, passenger side interior here. Uh, once again, door panel pretty much mirrors the driver's side. Uh, no uh, splitting of the armrest, no discoloration at the bottom of the door as far as the carpeting is concerned. This is vinyl up here, this portion, that's in good shape. Uh, the dash pad has a couple little minor cracks in it that we'll show you on the test drive portion. Uh, the seats, uh, the seat covers are in good shape and they actually look pretty cool in the vehicle. Um, and the carpeting in the center hump there also, uh, you know, not uh, terrible. We'll show you that out in the natural sunshine when we are on the uh, test drive. <clears throat> I told you both mirrors are brand new, so you don't have to worry about that. Those work, they're power. We'll show you that on the test drive as well. Uh, before we conclude the presentation, we will uh, check out your paint on the front fender. Again, at the bottoms, around the wheel wells, uh, no uh, kind of blistering, bubbling, cracking, anything like that. 1996 Ford Bronco, clean Carfax, original miles, cold air, original motor, nice solid undercarriage. Uh, we're going to put it up in the air and show you that undercarriage right now, right before we uh, take a little test drive. Before we do that, I want to encourage you to come in person to check out this vehicle or any other vehicle or inventory you might be interested in. We are in a fun business. We get to buy and sell classic cars all over the world. But uh, classic cars are not the same as buying a new car. There's a lot of nostalgia there. Uh, there's a lot of history, a lot of um, you know awesome design. I mean, think about a, a 1970 Chevelle or a 69 Camaro. That design still is desirable today as it was back then. So a lot of cool stuff uh, in this business. However, you know, a lot of these vehicles, they've been through repaints, they've been through motor changes, they've been through drivetrain changes, they've been through, you know, maybe the, it started life as a, uh, a column shift car, and now it's a four-speed in the floor, you know, so they've been altered. So visit our showroom. Any vehicle you're interested in, we'll pull it outside for you. You can check out the paint real well out in the natural lighting. We'll put it in the air like we're going to do here with this Bronco in just a few moments and let you check out the undercarriage, bottom of the motor, suspension components, tire condition. We'll let you drive the vehicle. You can see how it 
accelerates, how it stops, how it steers. This way when the vehicle arrives wherever you're at in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself. We do a lot of sight unseen business. In fact, that's how the majority of our transactions are conducted, sight unseen. However, that is not what I encourage you to do, especially if this is your first classic car purchase. Visit our showroom, check it out yourself, um, shake our hands, maybe grab a couple items out of our gift shop, go out to lunch or dinner at a local area restaurant here and uh, check out our awesome 25,000 square foot showroom with 60 to 70 cars on hand. Let's uh, put our 96 Bronco up in the air and we'll show you the undercarriage. Underneath our 1996 Bronco, disc brakes up front. Let's see how much of the bottom of the motor we can see. Not too much, you have the starter in the way on this side. Now you can see a little bit of the driver's side here. It looks nice and dry from what I can tell. I don't see anything leaking right at the moment. Uh, the exhaust manifolds come out and off into a single pipe. Uh, a couple cats, a couple O2 sensors. Let's take a look at the tranny pan. Tranny pan looks to be dry at this time, all the way around. Cross member supporting the transmission up that runs frame rail to frame rail looks good. Let's take a look at the pans here on the outskirts of the uh, frame rail. Driver's side looks good, all one solid piece. Let's hop over to the passenger side. It's going to be the same way. You see no uh, holes or rust. Uh, continuing back here a little further, you have your uh, transfer case, which also looks good. Uh, all of your exhaust system, I don't see anything that has any kind of rust holes, rod holes, pin holes, anything like that going on in it. It's going to be drum brakes in the rear of this vehicle. Uh, gas tank here uh, does have a metal cover on it, looks good. Not caved in or dented in. Um, I think, if I recall correctly, I'm pretty sure we put these tires on. Yeah, they're brand new. Uh, the raised white letter uh, Coopers are, yep, 24. Brand new. So you got good uh, tread on the tires. And then, of course, you got your uh, receiver here. 1996 Ford Bronco. We're going to set it on the ground and take it on a test drive. Before we do that, let's discuss our payment options. If you're a cash buyer, cashier's check from your bank or bank wire transfer. If you're financing the collector car lenders we work with, we'll do 5 to 15 year loans on these cars. Uh, the car has to qualify, so let's say it's a $25,000 car, they aren't going to do a 15 year loan on that vehicle. So you have to uh, qualify from the standpoint of the car being, uh, you know, enough money and then of course a credit score, debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, things like that. But uh, the lender will contact you directly. They'll discuss all that with you. They'll give you your monthly payment, your rate, and your finance term. And then if you like what you hear, you can call us back and we will go ahead and uh, get the whole sales process started. Whatever your uh, method of payment, once the vehicle is funded in full, we put the vehicle through a pre-delivery inspection. It includes lug nut torque, tire pressure, AC if equipped, uh, you know, wipers, horn. They're old vehicles. Anything can stop working, start leaking in any given moment. Therefore, we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction. Once it's screen lighted through our service department, it goes through detail and then a carrier is dispatched if we are the ones handling the shipping. We can typically have a truck here within a 48 hour window. However, if you're in a more difficult destination, allow us a few extra business days. But I do promise you that we will get you your vehicle as quickly and as safely as we possibly can. If you're handling your own shipping or you're coming to drive the unit home, we'll let you know when it's ready and you can come after it or send after it. Let's set our 96 Ford Bronco down on the ground. We'll take it on a test drive and show you how it runs out. Okay, inside our 96 Bronco. Um, tilt. Uh, okay, wipers. Let's move to the instrument cluster. Well, let me do the rear window. Switch. There we go. All the way up and all the way down. I'm just not going to bore you. Um, all your gauges are working. Temp, fuel, tack. 111 is the actual miles on the odometer, actual miles on the vehicle. Driver's side turn. Passenger side turn. 
Uh, we did wipers already. Um, let's do all this power crap. Mirror, driver's side. Door locks. Driver window. Passenger mirror. Passenger window. Again, it goes all the way up and all the way down. AC. AC's blowing nice and cold. So we'll turn that down to low. Radio works. Uh, four wheel drive does work. Got a remote for the radio. Um, headliner's in good shape. Let's see if these mat lights work. Those work. Uh, dash isn't cracked up. It's got a couple little, I guess, tiny cracks there if you want to get technical. But, uh, you know, overall it's in pretty nice shape. Carpeting's in pretty decent condition. Um, yeah. Let's uh, take it on a little ride. Oh, important part, no ABS lights, airbag lights, battery lights, uh, you know, things like that. All your, uh, any kind of problem indicator lights are all out in the vehicle. Did we do the horn? Horn works. Let's drive. Okay, inside our 96 Bronco. Uh, you know, the Broncos, they have a tendency to want to wander a little bit. Uh, this one rides really nice. Uh, really nice and tight. Uh, speedo is functioning, 40 miles per hour. It is accurate. Uh, the temp gauge is good. It's about halfway up. Our AC is blowing ice cold. We have nice tight steering in the vehicle. You know, once again, there's not really any walk or wander to the vehicle. It's tracking nice and straight like it should be. Uh, there's no tire vibration, tranny vibration, engine vibration. It's got a pretty pretty smooth ride to it. Yeah, these uh, full-size Broncos and Blazers, they really have a pretty sweet ride to them. This one's cool with the you know red exterior, gray interior. Got a nice cold AC uh, unit, functioning stereo. Uh, pretty cool little truck. We'll take it up here, we'll uh, show you the brakes, we'll bang it through the gears, get it up to about 60 miles per hour and uh, conclude our little test drive presentation. Brakes good, no vibrations, pulsations in the brakes whatsoever. Training shifts just like it should. Nice, uh, smooth, clean, firm shifts. Like I said, we gotta stop for the school bus here, so we'll show you stopping again. Idle's real nice, um, no uh, hesitation or any kind of uh, starving for fuel, starving for air, anything like that. Okay, picking back up after our school bus left 42 kids off. Anyways, um, tranny shift's nice and smooth in the vehicle. Uh, no uh, hesitation or skipping, anything like that. We're 50 miles an hour, that's about as fast as I'm gonna be able to get it, unfortunately, with the traffic, but it rides real nice and smooth. There's no uh, noise from the uh, tires. The tires are real nice and quiet in the vehicle. We do well with the full-size Broncos. They do not last. So I would suggest if you are interested in this one or you like the looks of it, uh, that you call sooner rather than later. 386-944-9219 is our phone number here in Daytona Beach. Hanksters.com is our website. It's where you can find all the photos of this vehicle along with this video presentation you're watching right this very moment. At full retail price, our 96 Bronco includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty that covers engine, tranny, rear, internal components. It doesn't cover the AC system, the brakes, the batteries, the starter, the alternator, anything like that. Those are all wear and tear items. That is what you call normal routine maintenance for a car that is 20, 30, 40 years old. Is the price of the vehicle negotiable? Most certainly is. If we negotiate the price of the vehicle, warranty comes off. Warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, the shipping comes off. At full retail price, we vest the driver. We set up the pickup at our showroom. We arrange the delivery to you. We pay the driver. At a negotiated cost, you'll handle that like work on your own. Maybe you are a collector. You have your own open or enclosed carrier. You want to come uh, trailer this car home. You're more than welcome to do that. 
If you don't have a trailer and you're in the market for one, HangstersHaulers.com. We sell ATC custom trailers uh, for all of your transport needs, whether you're shipping cars, four-wheelers, uh, golf carts, or just, uh, you know, want a cool little uh, camping trailer. They can fully customizable, HangstersHaulers.com. Maybe you are local to us here in the Sunshine State, and you uh, would like to come drive this vehicle home. You'll have ice cold air and tunes. Hangsters Hot Rods, Daytona Beach, Florida, hangsters.com. Check us out.